Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're looking at a Toyota Hiace. This one with the 5L 3 liter engine in it, and remarkably 9,000, under 9,000 original kilometers. Inside and out, this is one of the most fantastic Hiaces that I've seen, and we've seen quite a few Hiaces. And so, yeah, fantastic. It almost looks like a new car. I've got the auction inspection sheet here. It is authentic mileage and if you look at the condition of it you're going to definitely uh, definitely know that it is authentic mileage. It's one two three four five six seven eight nine seater version of it. This is the industrial version with a carry capacity of 1250 kilograms. Let's start with uh, looking over the auction inspection sheet. This was direct from the auction and uh, picked from the buyer specifically to bid on so you get more choice in what type of vehicle that you get and you know that your exporter is not uh, fooling around with you on the mileage or on the price or anything okay so 2003 high ace DX now usually uh, this generation has the 3000 cc 1kz engine but this one here is the 5l engine which is a more robust more reliable engine made for heavier duty and so very cool to have that engine in here it's slower but it's meant to last longer. Auction rate four, interior B, 8,524 kilometers on here, four wheel drive, and that's full time four wheel drive, five speed manual, and that's a huge plus. So the four wheel drive with the five speed manual and the diesel makes this a killer combination. Has a rear heater and AC controls, authentic 8,000 kilometers on it. Seating capacity is three, six, nine seats. That's just has to do with their registration here in Japan, but it is two bench seats plus three seats in the front. Okay, it comes with warranty papers, owner's manual, and uh, information here from the inspector. Interior one part dirty and scratched. Has a company company sign, used to be on the car, but has been taken off. Rear panel dented, underside painted, various scratches and dents. And then looking at this here, I think that uh, they just thought, wow, the vehicle is so clean, we should put some marks on it, but I don't see any of these marks. These ones here on the side panel, I think that uh, that's just the way that the side panel looks. We'll have a look at that. So the underside here, I think they're talking about this, but that doesn't look dented to me. That just looks like how that is supposed to be, because you can see the rear one goes like that at the same time. So look at how clean these stickers are. It looks like the vehicle's barely seen oxygen from the world. It's like it's been put in a spaceship and, or has been flying around in space like the t Tesla vehicle. That Elon Musk put up there and then it's just come down to earth in order to be sold by us I guess uh, tires um, I will get to I guess I, I I can say here but the, the tires have been recently replaced in 2015 but they still look like they have full tread okay so we'll do a once around here And yeah, basically no scratches or dents on the vehicle. No surface rust anywhere. It's a long body van chassis, means it's, it's made for doing the work, carrying things in the back or carrying lots of people. Four wheel drive makes it uh, easy to go wherever you want. And we do have a lot of people looking for the five speed manual with the uh, with the diesel and the four wheel drive. This one's not legal for the USA yet because it's too new, but something like this would be legal for Canada and for several other countries. Uh, this one we bought from auction and uh, we're going to be shipping it. I believe we're shipping this one to the Caribbean somewhere, Jamaica maybe? I'll just check on here. Oh no, we're sending this one to New Westminster. So this one is going to Canada. Wow, this is gonna be an awesome vehicle in Canada. Love it. Okay, so no fade in any of the plastic here. No scratches on the footstep. Uh, okay, there are. <laughs> Headlights look good. No rock chips in the front grill. Headlight or uh, the wipers are full black. No fade on that or on these. That's these window visors for smoking inside your van, as is popular here in Japan. But um, doesn't smell like smoke inside. Let's open up this rear hatch. And gives you an awful lot of room inside before you get to the seats. 
This bar on the back is actually broken. This bar is meant to go behind that rear seat so that when you load this with boxes or whatever you're gonna load it with, you don't hit the seat or push the seat. Uh, there is another one right behind the driver and passenger there so that when these seats are folded or taken out completely, you would have that as a kind of like a wall to stop the boxes. But it looks like it's broken here at the lock section. So you would be able to put, probably install it, but the, the function of locking and unlocking from this part maybe doesn't work. And then this one would go, like I said, right behind this one here. Not even, like why, why would they buy something? Especially, here's the weird part about this. Why would you pay extra to get the, the more robust engine when you're not going to drive it at all? <laughs> very weird it's almost like it's like a, like a failed company has bought this vehicle when they thought that they were you know they got this financing from the bank but then they couldn't end up paying their loans and they didn't have enough work to actually use the vehicle wow look how clean it is this is weird so the industrial version has special high wear seats so these are meant to last long before they rip or discolor and they're made out of kind of like a tougher material. The steering wheel doesn't have any wear on it at all and this one would be an, an airbag version of the steering wheel. Change your oil next at 13,300 kilometers. So AC works. Manual transmission works and shifts, clutch is good, power steering is proper. Yes, five speed manual and it's not selectable four wheel drive, it's just full time four wheel drive. It even smells like a new car in here. Oh cool. Looks like it's a map of a job site or something. Nice little bonus. Uh, this is an extra seat here. So one seat, two seats, and then this one here flips up if you don't want to use the cup holders in the center console piece. No rips in the headliner or sagginess. Visors look fine. Okay, let's go into the back. So here's controls for the uh, heater slash AC in the back, and then two benches of seats. Rubber mat in here. Seat is a little bit dirty, needs to be washed, made out of the same material. That's the heater control, that's the AC control. So sitting in here, a little bit on the tight side. You can put your feet up if you want. That's maybe a little bit better. Made for the Japanese workers. And can you move these forward and back? You can't. But you can flip them so you get them out of the way. And same thing here. Kind of feels like a public bus. And typically the ones that would have the extra seating in here would be like, carry your workers to the job site. That sort of thing is fairly popular. Okay, well, when the vehicle's this clean, there's not much to talk about. So that's gonna be the end of the video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Very, very clean Toyota High Ace. Love it so much. So that is that. If you have any questions, please let me know. You could also have fun in the comments or you can check out our website. There's a link to that in the description of the video. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.